What's up guys, it's Grishma. In today's video, as you can see from the title down below, I'm going to show you how I take photos of me by myself and also share a few tips and tricks on how to do so. So let's just get into the video. The first thing I'm going to talk about is the device from which I click all my pictures. So the maximum amount of pictures are taken from my iPhone 7. It has a pretty decent camera and takes very good photos in daylight. So other than my iPhone, I use my GoPro to take my photos and I'm going to talk about this in some other video. <laughs> so moving on, I'm going to talk about the tools that I use to take photos. So the number one tool that I use is a tripod which on which I'm shooting right now. I got this tripod from Amazon I believe and it's a very good tripod, it was very cheap, uh, I, w I think it was like thousand or one fifteen hundred bucks and it's very good for a tripod and I, with that I use a mobile attachment to attach it on the tripod and then I attach my phone on it so other than my tripod I use this which is a gorilla pod again you can find this on Amazon it uh, even I bought it from Amazon it's very old but it is a nice tripod the advantage is that you can like bend it in any angle or any direction you want you can attach it to the railing so you need to keep this on a table or a chair opposite opposite to where you're standing as uh, it's very small and you cannot uh, extend it as you can do with a tripod but the advantage is that it's very because it's very small you can like carry it around and keep it in your bag and you're good to go i bought all these products from amazon I, as i mentioned earlier but i don't remember the exact link as i got all this a very long time ago but you can find similar products on amazon and other shopping websites again all these devices are not necessary for you to buy you can keep your phone opposite to where you're standing for example on a table or a chair uh, but just make sure that you don't damage your phone and it is safe is how to take photos there are various ways uh, in which I like to take photos personally and I'll talk through it one by one so the number one thing that I use to take photos is the remote shutter again I got this from Amazon I believe I got this with a selfie stick that I got and I never use a selfie stick but I am using this remote shutter it is very handy now how to connect this is that this gets connected to your phone via Bluetooth and it's very easy to connect it there's no there's no complications or no apps involved to connect this just turn on the bluetooth and turn on this device and pair both of them and that's how it works after you connected the phone to this device you just open the camera and click the button to capture the image uh, as you can see there are two buttons one is for android and one is for um, ios and this depends upon the phone which you are using you click the button to capture the image so if you don't have a remote shutter to click the photos you can use the self timer of your camera to uh, sh uh, click photos you can adjust it to 5 seconds 10 seconds depending upon uh, your preference so the disadvantage with self timer is that you have to click the photo go back pose again click go back pose so this takes a lot of time and also a lot of hard work and uh, I know uh, a lot of you and also me, I, I, we don't settle with just one photos. We need a lot of photos and from that we choose only just one photo. So it's also a lot of waste of time and that's why I don't prefer the set timer that much. But if, if I don't have the remote shutter in handy, I'll always use the self timer. It's like the old school method. <laughs> So I got in the location where I'm gonna click some pictures and place my tripod over here and hopefully get some good shots. Let's see how this goes. Uh, it requires a lot of trial and errors because you really can't see uh, what photos you are taking since we are using the back cam because it's much greater resolution than the front cam. And this is how all the photos turned out. I think they turned out pretty well and uh, you can't really make out that they are taken by yourself. Here's a tip while taking photos. Make sure you have good lighting or ample amount of light when you are taking photos. So for example, you have low light. 
the photos may not turn out as good as it may turn out with good lighting or the resolution of the photo may also degrade and which is not cool uh, because you want the photos to be sharp and crisp so make sure you are uh, taking photos where the lighting is very good and if you're taking photos in sunlight make sure you are not directly standing in front of the sunlight because then there will be too much of exposure and your photos would turn out too bright and which is also what we do not want but if you're very good with editing and using editing software then you can transform the image to make it look very nice so these are the some of the tips and tricks that i have been using since a very long time and they have been working great for me and i hope they work out great for you as well so that was it for the video i really hope you all enjoyed and also found it helpful and the next time you take photos you use these few tips and tricks uh, while you are taking your photo and if you uh, did like this video give it a big thumbs up and also tell me in the comments down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next video bye Thank you.